All right, guys, another video project for my school, and this time chemistry class. And oh my god, there's a girl featured in this video. Oh my god. Oh my. And before you guys even ask, yes, I already got rejected by her. <laughs> got he. On the bright side, easy A, perfect score. Can you roll that godsend celebration? Yeah, man. Have you ever wondered who cleans up all the messes and accidents made from things like oil spills or other harmful chemicals? Well, let me just tell you this now, it doesn't just magically disappear. People like us have to f The job we chose for our career is a hazardous waste disposal worker, also known as a hazmat worker. So what is a hazardous waste disposal worker, you might ask? Well, they do a handful of things like identifying and disposing of asbestos, radioactive and nuclear waste, arsenic, lead, and other hazardous materials. They also neutralize and clean up materials that are flammable, corrosive, reactive, or toxic. Other things they do include following safety procedures during a cleanup, complying with state and federal laws regarding waste disposal, testing hazardous materials to determine the proper way to clean up, constructing scaffolding, which are temporary structures used to support the crew, or build containment areas before cleaning up. They must also remove, neutralize, or clean up harmful materials that are found or spilled. To sum this up without the smart words, you're basically a janitor that deals with hazardous waste materials. So now that you know everything about this amazing job, I know you're gonna ask, how can I apply for this career? What's required? Well, you only need a high school diploma, so if you don't want to go to college or become a college dropout, Mark Zuckerberg, Why are you bullying me? This is the job for you! After that, you get on-the-job training which requires 40 hours minimum accordance with OSHA, also known as Occupational Safety and Health Administration. And now you're hired! Yes, I know you will work there for free because of how good the job is, but you actually get paid! You can actually make a living out of this. Not really, but... So the salary is around $32,000 to $45,000 depending on the education and experience you have as a hazmat worker. In 2018, it was recorded that the median salary was about $42,030, and $42,030, which is 20 In 2018, it was recorded that the median salary was about $42,030. Okay, I got to say that again. <laughs> In 2018, it was recorded the median salary was about $42,030, which is $20.21 an hour. Anywho, the working conditions are bad. I'ma just be straightforward with you right now, it's just bad. The places you'll find yourself working at is in factories or other facilities. It's a standard 40 hours a week job, but night and weekend work is normal in this career. It's common to work overtime because emergencies and accidents happen. Especially when gases or liquids leak into areas where people can be exposed to it. It's required to wear protective suits during the shift because of the dangerous chemicals you're working with. But then again, who wouldn't want to wear that sexy suit? You could wear that at like, a Halloween party, or um, a wedding. What? To add, it's also a back-breaking job. You gotta stand, bend, and kneel for long periods of time. You also gotta carry heavy objects and work in confined spaces. Ouch, I'm hurting just from reading that. There is a lot of physical labor, so if you got them back problems or something, this is not the job for you. So when working here, a common molecule you encounter is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a natural molecule in our atmosphere. Although when it is excessive, it can result in symptoms like dizziness and vertigo because it is an asphyxiant. An asphyxiant is a substance that can cause unconsciousness or death by suffocation, known as asphyxiation. The job of a hazmat worker is to contain carbon dioxide when it becomes a danger to prevent it. The formula for carbon dioxide is CO2. It is one carbon atom bonded to two oxygen atoms. The carbon atom is covalently bonded to two oxygen atoms. It is a colorless, odorless gas found in our atmosphere as a trace gas but is also produced as a waste product in our bodies and when burning fossil fuels. Fun facts. CO2 is a heat trapping gas, known as a greenhouse gas. Unlike oxygen and nitrogen, carbon dioxide is actually a trace gas within our atmosphere. There are roughly 500 parts per million. Carbon gets its name from the Latin word carbo, which means coal. 
Carbon monoxide, a carbon atom plus one oxygen atom, is an odorless gas produced from the burning of fossil fuels. Carbon dioxide plays an important part in vital plant and animal process, such as photosynthesis and respiration. Green plants convert carbon dioxide and water into food compounds such as glucose and oxygen. Result in symptoms like dizziness, ah, oh, <laughs> dizziness, which is 0.05% of the Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, what? Shit. <laughs> carbon get its uh car <laughs> a hazmat worker is to contain sorry restart we just restart everything <laughs> such as photosynthesis and respiration these processes will be briefly explained here <laughs> Copy not and paste that. it <laughs>